What's up? My name is Sawyer. This is my YouTube channel and hi. <laughs> This is actually kind of weird being the first Christmas themed video in my vlogmas, but you know, here we are. And also, yes, I'm wearing this hoodie. I know I've worn it for like the past six videos or something like that, but I, one, pre-film a lot of videos at the same time, and two, love this hoodie a lot. For this video, I'm going to be reading your embarrassing Christmas secrets, and I'm excited. So without further ado, let's get to reacting. But before we get into that, I want to make sure you guys go follow my Instagram and my Twitter right now. They're both right there. Did you do it yet? Okay, cool. Thank you. Comment on my last Instagram picture that the dodo bird fell in the water. That way I know that you watch this video. Comment the dodo bird fell in the water on my last Instagram picture. Awesome. One year, why don't I was performing on the TV, and all my family was over, and I yelled for everyone to shut the up so I could listen to Daniel sing and play the cello. But it was very beautiful, so I didn't care. Why is that a mood? <laughs> I think I did that once too, actually. I once set my Christmas tree on fire because I tried to light a candle and I dropped it. I hope everything's okay. Um, sounds like something I would do, though. I never get presents, it's always my little sister. Well, I'm sorry, you deserve just as much as your little sister does. When I was like seven, I got terrified by Santa and in the group picture I was in my mom's arms turned away from the camera crying. That's a mood. Sometimes Santa Clauses can be really, really creepy. My family, that's embarrassing. I can, under <laughs> I can relate to an extent. I love my family, but sometimes I can be a little weird. <laughs> my sister opened everyone's presents one year and got in huge trouble because she ate everyone's candy canes in the middle of the night and there was like 50. Did she get sick? That's a lot of candy. At, oh, the, I hope she's okay. Um, dang, I bet that was crazy to wake up to. <laughs> when I was like five, I threw up on one of the Los Santos. That's lovely. Can you imagine being the Santa Claus though? Wow. It's not really crazy or anything, but when I was 10, my parents were wrapping presents and I was looking in the doorway and saw everyone's presents. So I told my sister what some of her parents were. What well, some of what some of her presents were. I'm a bad child. Oh, wow. One time I was 10, and my family went to the movies, and at the movies, there was a boy that liked me, and he had set up a huge party at the movies to ask me out, and I hated him because he was our school bull. I'm assuming you mean bully. And he got so mad, he cried. Oh, wow. One year when my brother was younger and he didn't exactly understand the way Christmas worked, he told my dad, and I quote, I got you a tie, but I won't tell you what color it is because my dad was joking, asking what he got for Christmas. Oh, <laughs> that's actually really cute. My most embarrassing Christmas story is the time when one of my family members made me laugh and I spit food all over my grandma. <laughs> oh my God, that's incredible. One time my grandpa went to open something and he cut his chest with his pocket knife. He was wearing a huge white shirt and he had a couple unbuttoned. Wow. Dang. Is he okay? I got too excited and I started opening up random gifts that were not mine. <laughs> this seems to be a trend with you guys. Okay, so I was with my family and we were opening presents and I forgot one so I ran upstairs and grabbed one and I was wearing fluffy socks. So I ran down and the present was a new phone for my brother and I slipped and fell down the stairs on the phone and it broke and everyone looked at me and laughed. Oh no. <laughs> one year, when I was little, my father told me not to go into his room. With my curiosity, I went into it. I opened his dresser and there it was, an iPod Touch. I was so happy, but I thought that if I told him I found it, he would return it. So I went on all of December knowing I was going to get an iPod Touch, and when it was finally Christmas, I faked my reaction. He still doesn't know till this day, and I don't step into his room again during the holiday. Wow. Um, one year I got an iPod Touch for Christmas too. I don't remember what year it was, but I did. When I was 13, my family was celebrating Christmas with my cousins. On Christmas morning, we were opening presents and I saw one with my name. So I of course picked it up and started unwrapping it. When I unwrapped it, it was an iPhone and I of course started opening the box. That's when my aunt comes over to me and kind of yanks it away. I looked at her really confused and she said it wasn't supposed to be for me, it was supposed to be for my cousin. Whoa. But like it had your name on it, so... 
what is she salty about? She's the one that messed up. I wore Why Don't We merch to a family event on Christmas. They asked about it, and I told them. They proceed to make fun of Why Don't We. I'm never wearing Why Don't We merch to a family event again. I wear Why Don't We merch all the time. And honestly, you shouldn't let people making fun of them affect it. If you want to wear some band merch or something that you love, you should do that. It wasn't on Christmas, but it was a couple days before. Here's the story. The newspaper came in the mail, and when my mom was reading it, and it said that my dad died by choking on mashed potatoes. Me, my mom, brother, and sister was like, if he was dead, he must have turned into a ghost or something. What did I just read? I I'm so confused. <laughs> I hope everybody's okay though. Please don't choke on any mashed potatoes. We were at my nan's house for Christmas Eve and she gave my dad a packet of Rolos, British candy. British candy, Rolos? I mean, Americans have Rolos too. Maybe they originate from Britain, I don't know. And I said, oh, I really don't like Rolos. They make me feel sick, not knowing that she had got me the thing for my Christmas present. I felt so bad, aw. When I was 13, we had a family Christmas party thing like at my house. My uncle is a doctor and he gives us our shots. I was terrified of any type of needle, so I decided to lock myself in a bathroom for two hours. I took half of my family to persuade me to get out of the bathroom and go downstairs. I ended up getting held down by my aunt and mom while my uncle gave me a shot. It was not fun. At a Christmas party? Why would you get shots at a Christmas party? Hmm. I broke my wrist two days before Christmas break and I had to open my present at ITV one hand. P.S. I love you and I don't Oh, I love you too. My grandma wouldn't let us open presents until the cat was in his Christmas sweater. It took us a while. Oh my gosh, that's, that's amazing. See, you could have a grandmother like me who hates pets at all, so... I mean, she actually likes Percy, though, so that's pretty cool. This isn't really crazy or anything, but last Christmas I got surprised with Why Don't We Meet and Greet. I had to break the news that I didn't like them anymore. Wait, what? You don't like them anymore? Can I have your meet and greet? I'll take it. <laughs> oh, no. I was five, and my dad told me if I like a boy to lean over to him and fart. Oh, God, I can see where this is headed. Well, it was Christmas dinner, and I was sitting by a friend. I really liked him and took my dad's advice and farted. I'm 14, and it still haunts me. I feel the secondhand embarrassment for you. What happened though? What did the boy say? Are you together? How did it go? What was his reaction? I need to know! <laughs> Picture this, it's 2008. It's Christmas Eve Eve. My family and I are about to leave the next morning to go visit family for three days. We look at our tree and notice little dots all over the wall. It turns out a spider had laid its eggs in our tree and they hatched in our house. Whoa. <laughs> oh my god. My mom was doing Christmas photos when I was like six or seven maybe. At first I was actually really excited about it because I got to wear a pretty dress but then about two hours passed and I didn't want to do it anymore. My mom forced me to continue so I refused to smile for the rest of the pictures. She still has the photos and actually still looks at them often to laugh at me because you can see the pout on my face and how angry I was. That's so mean. But my mom is like obsessed with pictures too. My family was getting a tree for Christmas. We bought a tree not know that it had a nest in it. We woke up the next week to the sound of chirping. We had two baby birds in our tree. That's actually really cute. Um, but what'd you do with the baby birds? I hope, I hope they're okay. Huh. <laughs> when I was younger, we used to put slash set up a big fat Christmas tree. And one year my dad was dancing around with my mom and I couldn't really push the tree and it fell. That Christmas was awkward. Did you pick it up? Did any ornaments break? Hmm. So I, a couple years ago, went Christmas tree shopping for a real tree in a forest and I saw this cute guy. This guy kept looking at me so we talked to each other but as it turns out we live near each other and go to the same school. We did for a year and a half and we are now exes. Oh dang. This is almost like a Hallmark movie. Basically my best friend kissed me under the mistletoe because he liked me and I didn't like it. <laughs> oh dang. Last Christmas my aunt bought me a gag gift which was these really ugly socks with pom poms and strings all over them and a bright purple sweater with a cat on it. I thought she was serious so they had me put it on. She handed me the real gift which was why don't we tickets and I ended up crying for about an hour. Oh, 
See, that's how you're supposed to react to getting Why Don't We tickets. <laughs> One time I opened a present and it was from my aunt and I walked over to my sister and I'm like, I think these are yours. I died. Once when I was six years old, I was crawling on a bed blindfolded and I didn't know where I was going. So I crashed into the corner of a dresser and my forehead started gushing out blood. It was almost 12 a.m. and my mom took me to the hospital and I got stitches. I'm okay now though. Dang. See, I've had stitches once, but it's because I got bit by a rabbit. So... I was at a store with my parents once, and I traveled off towards the Christmas trees for no reason, and I knocked one down somehow. So I ran and went to find my parents again. They weren't far, but I didn't see either. Did you leave it down? What happened? <laughs> on Christmas, it looked like Rudolph in all our Christmas photos because I was sick. It's kind of embarrassing to go back and look at them. Happy holidays. Happy holidays to you too. One time, me and my sister were trying to make Christmas crack and we didn't have any chocolate. So we were trying to make fake chocolate and we had to put 15 spoons of sugar, but she told me to put 15 cups of sugar, so I did. And it ruined the whole thing. 15 cups? That's so much. <laughs> this is a long note, holy crap. In 2018, we were doing Secret Santa in my classroom. I don't know if you know what Secret Santa is, but what it is is someone in your classroom gets picked to buy someone else a present under a certain budget, and they don't know who they got or what they're receiving. Then once everyone buys the present they're getting for the other person, the person opens up their present and guess who they got based on the present they were given. I was opening up my present and at first I got pencil so I was confused. After I unofficially wrapped the full gift, I looked at what I got and it was a why don't we notebook that said why don't we on the front. I started crying in front of my whole class because of it. I made my guess and I got my guess wrong. It turns out that my sister's best friend got me the gift and I got out of my seat and gave her a hug. And I still haven't written in the notebook to this day because I don't know what to write in it. Sorry this was so long. The explanation of Secret Santa probably made it longer than it was supposed to. By the way, I love you, Sawyer. I love you too. And that's actually a really thoughtful gift. That's really cool. Well, I wasn't alive yet, but I saw a video of my dad on Christmas from a long time ago when iPods were a thing. And he had earbuds in, listening to a bad song, and was dancing around like an idiot. Everybody was laughing so hard. That's not funny. Haha. <laughs> it is funny, though. This one time you unfollowed. Wait, what now? I stole a lot of candy from the store. You stole candy from the store? Oh my. And yeah, so that'll be the end of this video. Here is the shout out for this video. Make sure you go follow them. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you'd like to check out my social media, it'll be in the description below. Keep going, and I'll see you guys soon. <laughs>